a little bit of my house, but more importantly, I'm gonna share with you um, how I went. I have no idea who this dick is, but his voice and his face makes him seem very, very punchable. What's up? So, quick pre-workout apparently. Mail time. I already know what this is. I ordered it for me. It shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, but it's more camera stuff. A little bit better Gorilla Pod. Yeah. This is a much heavier duty, more professional than uh, the plastic one I've been using. Ooh, that is nice. That is a much nicer setup. I also got another one of these heads coming to go on my old Gorilla Pod. And I got another small camera, another EOS M. That's the small camera I've been shooting with is an EOS M. And uh, they just came out with a new one. And luckily for me, mine got stolen. My fault. I think I left it in my truck. Well, I didn't think. I left it in my truck and did not leave my truck locked. So, my fault. But luckily that's all they got. Lesson learned, right? Probably not, but either way. Battery. Which is good because I think now I have should have the right amount of batteries unless they change the battery. Nope, looks the same. I uh, went with the same lens I had, which is their 18 1855. It's enough little wide angle, pretty solid. Ooh, this is much nicer. A little bit more stout feeling than the uh, other one I had or let's just say the old model, is so that shooting this way, you can actually see what's going on. And that is fantastic. So that is a much, much better setup than what I had. Ooh, what's that do? Whoa, look at that flash, dog. Yeah, yeah, so Canon, great upgrade. Uh, way more stout feeling on the sides. So anyone looking to do some vlog stuff, this is one of the cameras I shoot with a lot other than my 70D, which is what I shoot almost everything on so very cool while i'm very very excited about uh the new camera the osm canon eat a dick the batteries i have for my old eosm small look like this and the batteries for the new eosm look I held them next to each other and basically couldn't decipher it other than maybe a little bit difference on width and of course they don't fucking fit. So now I get to order new batteries. Gotta have them on spare backups. Cool stuff. The real pisser to this is that it now makes these old batteries and these two chargers I travel with are now garbage. So pretty fucking cool. All right, so AM cardio, go ahead and do that. I think I'm just gonna sit on the bike today, do about 10 minutes and then stretch for a bit, do the 10 minutes, stretch for a bit. That whole plan. So enjoy a pretty quick montage of that. This spin bike I picked up on Craigslist for like 50 bucks. One of the best things I bought for the garage. <laughs> 40 minutes on the bike, soaking wet. It's, it's fucking gross outside. It's like 75 still. Time to eat some breakfast, get cleaned up. So that morning, today's session, squatted pretty decent yesterday. So it was really just a matter of kind of riding the bike, getting the legs moving, flushing some junk out, and then do some, uh, some stretching, some mobility work, some maintenance. On to the rest of the day. I've never 
been terribly consistent with uh, with breakfast. Uh, this is something I'm trying to get better at, trying to get up and actually have some food. Usually post a little bit of training or doing something, so. Uh, I'm trying. So eggs and bacon, a little cheese in a bowl with some sauce. This sauce, incredible. Absolutely incredible. They should sell that shit by the gallon. your eggs on low heat, cover them, and they'll cook all the way through and you still get runny yolks. Fact. Breakfast. Got some morning stuff done, new beanies. Really, really dig. Especially the Red Zisu edition. And uh, now time for a haircut, run a couple errands, and then uh, get back home to these mangy ass dogs. Even though it's gray outside and disgusting. Best believe, I'm gonna be having some sunglasses. Away we go. I've actually tried to film getting a haircut like the last three times I've been, and for whatever reason, I fuck it up every time. So I'm gonna try to be a little bit more successful this run. It's 73 out. It is a muggy, balmy, First day of winter. Good job, Louisiana. Really stepping it up this year. giant gaps like with no hair just whatsoever like even the mustache isn't respectable it's <laughs> there's no good to it Cut. Total success. Now to go see if my suit fits. I'm also gonna have to get some lunch. Clock now. I need to eat, I need to go pick up my clothes, try those on, and then I need to hurry and edit and get yesterday's video up for 5 p.m. Cool beans. Cool beans. Be back with the utmost quickness. Food run. I've been checked on my suit. Progress is good, the suit looks great. Uh, still got a couple shirts to line up, so I have time to get those another day. Did not think everything would actually be done whenever uh, I was quoted that they would be done. So, progress. I look less of a boxy mess in it, so hopefully that continues. And finally back home. Hey, Bo. Hey, boo. Now to edit some video. I was starting to edit for today. Yeah. All the pups in the office with me, forcing them to hang out with me. They don't really like it. And um, other fitness YouTuber vloggers, right? I know other people have made a lot of views and things like that by bashing them and this and that. And me personally, I guess I've, I've trained long enough and I mean, this YouTube thing's fun and I'm excited that people are interested in what I have to say or that people are learning anything from me. I think that's really great. Um, 
but there's merit in anyone out there posting material. I mean, if you're posting material and you've got enough personality and you're training hard, I don't, I don't care. I mean, good for you and good on you. I'm glad people are listening and people are into what you're doing. Um, there's some that I wouldn't particularly want to work with and collaborate with, but that's just my own, like just based on personality. I just don't think personality wise we'd mesh up. The other thing too is I'm old. I'm almost 33 years old and I've lived it a long time. Like none of this is new. I'm not really learning any of the brand new things that like if you're just getting into lifting and want to put on some size and I, that's not what I've done. You know, I've, I've built a body for performance for the last 17 years and I try to be less fat and stay healthy. That's what I've got going on. I compete in a sport. So a lot of those other type vlogs don't, they don't do a lot for me. Um, so that's what I think. But now, back to the vlog. Vlog is done. It uh, looks like it's dark outside. It is 426. But the vlog's done. Got that going. And uh, it looks like no training today. It was alright, but uh, got some friends coming over, gonna hang out, and that'll probably be a day. Uh, some friends we probably won't get to see a whole lot for the rest of Christmas and stuff like that, so. Be a cool night, Sam and Lee, two really good friends. Always. Bourbon's about 90% my holiday gathering, basically just booze of choice. I like beer too. Fuck you, sinus infection. Yeah, that's the way you get rid of it. Well, I'm taking my mom that's... and I pickle your body with no, alcohol you're and then not you never get to drink anymore. When you're... With a bouquet of corn dogs. That's the only way to properly apologize. Well, that's friends mess, and uh, talk to you guys later. <laughs>